Welcome to the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. This is your podcast for all things hockey. On this podcast, we talk about past history to the modern day and what you can do to grow the sport. I am your host, Adam Rothstein. All right, let's get to the show. Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. This is, I think it's episode 104. Don't quote me on that. I'll look in a minute. Um, But whatever. Uh, Anyway, welcome back to the Adam Rothstein Hockey Podcast. So today I did want to talk about breaking into your skates, uh, just overall um getting used to them and because our skates are in a break right that they will break they will uh just come apart because it's just how products are made now and and only one and a pair of skates can only last so long so here's what i here's my suggestions for breaking into your own skates. Go out to stick and pucks. That's right. Go out to stick and pucks. Okay, actually, it was episode 103. Okay. Yeah, this is episode 103. Wanted to just clarify that. Uh I just checked that. So um break go to stick and pucks and go to free skate. And the reason for this is that when you get into a game, you're you know, you're not, it's not tight, uh, too tight on you. Um, you know, it's actually a little more looser. It can maneuver, you can maneuver easily and you're more comfortable in them when you get out on the ice and, uh, do your business and go to work. Even if you're a goalie, you should be doing this and maybe a little less because you're not skating often and, and you're, And I guess the only hardest sprint you do would be to the bench if you were pulled. But other than that, uh, for the players, get out there and go skate and and just get used to being in them. Now, I have to admit, uh, the skates uh, in beer league, in my beer league game on Saturday, I got two assists and that was it. Nothing out of, nothing else out of me. And, um... But the one thing I did with warmups is that I was able to take slap shots, no problem. My feet were so stable. I wasn't, my left foot wasn't just backing up. It was, it was just in place. And, and which leads me to another thing is that make sure that you are the right size. Um, credit to Tori. Um, it, her name is Tori, but. I, I I won't go any further than that, but uh but uh, I did uh I did want to thank her from over at the pro shop uh because maybe because someone in our community down in the great state of Florida probably listens into it. So um just uh, giving her a bit of a shout out to uh the Palm Beach Skate Zone um pro shop uh as well. So I definitely like that. Uh, so I definitely uh, like the shop. Um, I got some gloves there, but above all, um, I just like the product of the Bowers. I mean, like I'm a Bower kid. The bow, the bag is Bower. The face shield is Bower. The gloves are Bower. And, but this, you know, that's what I have. And maybe the next stick I get will be uh, from Bower. But yeah. Um, Continuing on, um, Tori told me not to bake the skates. Uh, and uh, if you're not familiar with baking the skates, that's when you put it in a little um machine and it just heats it up and it molds to your feet. Um, and it and it just and uh, you know, you work better at it. I definitely think that um. To- you know, she had the right 
idea of me not going to of me not doing that so i'm just glad um i still need to break into it uh as well um yesterday on sunday i wanted to go to stick and puck but it unfortunately was sold out and i do not know why it is and and why this happens often and it's just kind of weird but it's just it is what it is uh um when I was playing in the game, I noticed that um, it, that uh, my shot was good. People commented on my shot. I had a good shot in the game, but it was just blocked by the goaltender. And and that was uh, pr uh, just a shame. But I, I got some good passes off. I mean, I, I played the game the way it should have been played. And... And it was a pretty decent game for me. It was beer league, and it's okay. So I definitely did. I I definitely liked it, um, as well. So, you know, I liked them. Um, the inside of the of the skates. Um, depending on what you like, if you're like you know hard rubber person, you know you'd like a different style. If you, you know. Um, or if you did want to go all out, um, and get some CCMs or something, uh, you could, you could do that over the Bowers and, and it'd be good. But, but so far I have not noticed really anything wrong with them other than the fact that they still need to be broken in, uh, with my Bowers, but, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good with the Bowers. Um, CCMs, I never owned CCMs. I owned Easton's before. Um, actually, no, I did I did own CCMs way back in the day, but but like it was not up to like really high quality standards. But the CCMs today are like off the charts. And and finding the right skate is um much easier said than done. And I think that um you have to try a few things before you like really get used to them um i i did try the ccms on in a store and and it was pretty good it was for what it was but the bower just stuck out to me and i'm glad that that i chose it um and and it's just perfect for me but you know you will find things for you and you don't have to be a bauer loyalist or a ccm loyalist because they're always coming out with different models and there were three different models of the skate i had i'm like I, i'm like that's nuts too um now when i was on the bench during my resting period my you know when i resting during the game uh before i was going out for the shift i noticed that another guy had a pair just like mine except the, the model was slightly different and uh, he said that i had the higher quality i almost couldn't tell the difference there there was one thing on the toe of the the skate that sort of made a difference but overall i didn't notice that i i didn't notice it but i was so but but he said yeah you got a nice pair of skates i like mine you know you're gonna like yours sort of thing and yeah and that's how you get it's how you you build connections too, um, as well. Um, going back to the shot, um, my wrist shot was good. I was like just, you know, it was like just I was easily lifting the puck higher with the slap shot and the wrist shot and everything, and 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 I was skating so much better with my right foot over my left foot. I that is the one thing I noticed more than it ever is that um is that i actually was uh skating a little uh easier it was easier to do um around the circles uh for my warm-ups going right over left and and i was faster too that's another thing um and the shoe size um or the skate size rather when it's a little bit bigger than you're used to you may struggle with this um and 
and it, and you know it won't turn out a hundred percent. But the nine, but the nines, um, in in skate size at least certainly made that difference. And I'm glad that uh, Tori at the pro shop uh, could help me out over there uh, as well. Um, if if I'm a bit off today, there was uh, something. Uh, a little personal that I don't want to get into. I, if you are, and, and I really did not want to break this off um, like this, but there was, um there was someone who online who just did something very disgusting last night. And, um, and, and, and maybe I'll talk about it on blue Oasis, but but um but i'm a little off today and i just wanted to uh let you guys know that that right now i'm doing a little better um after i had some tea as well but i but i just i just want you all to know that i'm that i'm going to do all right it's going to be fine it's you know and maybe and and i'm just going to move on from it now but if you are just curious of what i'm going to be talking about um i'll definitely post something over on blue oasis so you can check that out wednesday um with the skates um on saturday it was it was definitely hard to um get used to at first and it's like oh my god yeah yeah, your feet hurt at the end of, at the end of that, and you're like, oh, oh my god, I gotta breathe. It's like your toes need to breathe at the end of it. Um, but but I definitely loved having it, and you know, the more games I play, you know, I'll still be used to it. It the skate's gonna be broken into regardless, and and that's how it's gonna be. But I I definitely liked the um skate i like the design of it i liked just you know you know that i could kick the puck to myself still still fairly easily and uh and i think that's like an a in my book it was like the vapor x3 i think that was the model um it, it could be a different code depend because there's like three other models with it and i don't know off the top of my head so i apologize but i but i love bauer's skates and and if bauer wants to sponsor me at all i'll definitely take the money and run with it but um yeah there's that i'll i'll, I'll take the money bauer you can sponsor your boy here uh as well because uh i like your skates a lot i i love them and um, although I have not used your uh, sticks or I've not used any of your sticks recently in um, there was a uh, I've used Sherwood blades and and um, just other types of blades and Easton's and all that stuff but but if hey if you want to send me something to review I'll do it. <laughs> You can count on me. Um, the skates um, themselves. Back to the skates and themselves. I forgot to mention one more thing. Laces. The laces were a little bit off, so I had to um, tie them a certain way. I had to adjust for them. I had to knot it a few extra times. So I think, but that was just more on the laces. and. And on my last pair of skates, I had waxed laces, and and I think, and I think that not having waxed laces for me was arguably the best thing for me. And and you know, the top of my foot is not constricted. The sides of my foot, the sides of my feet were, and the top of my feet were just able to like do their thing normally for the game so so yeah um all right sorry to cut you short with this episode uh i did want to mention that thing that happened to me last night that's just putting me off but i can't
tell it here because um, I'm not putting the E on this episode, but but I'll head over to Blue Oasis and just post something there about it. And um, if you want to listen into that, but if you'd like to support this podcast, please consider using your Audible credit for Growing Hockey. This is an audiobook that I narrated, wrote, did all the work myself. I talk about the history of hockey, you know, the history of the NHL, my opinions on what should be, and my top 20 players of all time. So if you like that stuff, head over to Audible, and a link for that will be in the show notes um, as well. Five stars on Apple, five stars on Spotify, Google. Uh, Like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. And with that being said, take care.